When Ethan hears the message I left on his machine last night, he's going to call me and say that he loves me as much as I love him. Tracy, you know what? I think you are fooling yourself for like the billionth time. Whitney, when it comes to love, you're the one who's fooling yourself about Chad. I mean, you care about him so much, you're just afraid to admit it. Sorry to interrupt, but have you seen Chad today? No. 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 Why? What's up? Beth had to go to town. I thought Chad was going to cover for her, but it's not like him to be late. Yeah. <sighs> Teresa, don't you get it? If Ethan was going to call you, he would have done it by now. He would have done it the second he got your message last night. Well, not necessarily. I, mean, I told you that Ethan's parents were fighting when I left him. Well, he must have gotten distracted trying to help them work things out. Well, and then it was so late. No, I am sure. Once Ethan wakes up, the first thing he's going to do is call me and tell me that he loves me. You know what? I know why Ethan hasn't called you yet. He's trying to think of the best way to let you down as gently as possible. No wet. He must have gone to see Gwen to break the news to her first. Yeah, right. What in the world? What is it? There's blood on this chair. Yeah, it's definitely blood. I wonder where it came from. Well, I don't know. Whitney and I were here really late last night, and I don't remember seeing any blood on the chair. Do you? No, no, not at all. Maybe Chad knows. I'll call him, find out if he's coming in or not. Okay. No answer. It just keeps ringing. Either he's on his way here or out. Are you coming in today? Oh, um, no, 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 I ain't coming in today. I, I got some, uh, some stuff going on. I hope I ain't gonna leave in a bond or anything. Uh, no, everything's okay, but I am worried about something. What? I found blood on a chair. You know anything about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh. Some guy accidentally cut himself in a glass and thought I cleaned it all up. Sorry. I'm, I'm not worried about the chair. What worries me is the guy you said did it. If he's losing blood at that rate, he should be in the hospital. Uh, who knows if he could even afford something like that, you know? Uh, besides, it wasn't that bad, and, and guys like that, you know, they can take care of themselves. So, uh, so I, I, I wouldn't worry about it if I was you. You know, I'm sure he's going to be all right. I hope you're right. Enjoy your time off. All right. <laughs> well, what do you say about the blood? That it happened just before closing and that the guy knows how to take care of himself. Wait, if you're worried about Chad, and it's so obvious that you are. You should go over to his place and make sure he's okay. Okay, look. First off, you are way off base as usual. And secondly, even if I did go check on Chad, he would probably think that... You cared I... about him? No. That I, was, that I was just probably being some kind of busybody or something. Okay, fine. You stay here. I'm going to go home and wait for Ethan to call me. Teresa, I thought you were out. Oh, I met Whitney for coffee, but, um, that's Mrs. Crane's attache case. It's got her initials on it. What are you doing with it? It's none of your concern. Okay. 
Mama, mm. I don't mean to rush you, but, but how long are you going to be here for? Why? Well, I came home to wait for Ethan, and I'm sure he'll want us to have our privacy. Why is Ethan coming here? To tell me that he loves me. Oh, God. Give me strength. Not this again. Mama, I thought that Ethan would have called me on my cell phone, but then I realized that this is something Ethan will want to say to me in person. Teresa, Ethan is probably trying to find a way to let you down easily, to tell you as softly as he can that he loves Gwen, not you. You know, Whitney said the same thing, but I refuse to, to believe either one of you. I know that fate wants Ethan and me to be together, just like I know Ethan is on his way over here right now. <gasps> what did I tell you, Mama? Every dream I have ever had is about to come true. Teresa, it's just a coincidence that the doorbell rang. I, it, Ethan is not here. Watch, Mama. Fate is about to prove you wrong. Teresa, there's something I have to tell you. I know. And it's what I have waited to hear my whole life. I have dreamed of this moment for as long as I can remember. And now it's here. It's finally here. Ethan. I told you that I loved you. And now I need to know that you love me too. I know you do, Teresa. And that's why I'm here. To talk to you about us and our future.